Peso. That's Huncho, fuck the Rodeo. Huncho. Private jet, we don't do layover. <laughs> One call, I'm having your bay over. Hi guys, it's Shakir Simmons back again with another video. If you new here, hi. Make sure you press that subscribe button down below. Make sure you like this video. And make sure you um keep up with me on all my social medias. It will be down in the description box below. So let's get in to know what I'm saying. So this story time is going to be about um my first fight. <laughs> my first, you know what I'm saying, my first fight. And I'm gonna be giving you some tips what to do and what not to do in a fight. I think it's going to be like just some tips. Um, alright, so let's get into it. Let's go. Um this story time, this fight, not even story time really, this story, this particular topic happened when I was in middle school, I think. Mm. Yeah, it happened in middle school. And um, it was the last day of school, you know, your girl played it smart, you know what I'm saying? Um, and this, the person I was actually fighting was my best friend. So actually, if you want... And to hear about other fight that happened between it wasn't between me and my best friend it was between two of my best friends you can um go to my other story time it says Her my best typically, friend typically like we was cool throughout the whole school year i don't know what the hell happened on the last day of school i don't know what happened i guess everybody was just fed up it was hot you know everybody was trying to you know go to school and then get the hell out because i i believe we had a half a day too so that was the plus too so um, shout out to my, um, <laughs> my boy best friend, Julian, gang, gang, gang. Um, yeah, he had, you know, he had something to do with this, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, that, I think that's the only person actually going to be naming in this story time because he pretty much don't care. So the other people, I'm going to change their name just to keep their privacy. So, all right. So yeah, it was the last day of school. It was a half day. And what happened? I think this was just before class started. The way how our middle school was set up. It was right across the street from what was up with that. But yeah, like, yeah, we used to line up, wait for our teacher to come and get us about like 8, 8.15, I think. And then we'll go to our classrooms. All right. Particularly, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> particularly on my class, we'll be waiting for our teacher. It was close to that time where our teacher was supposed to come so, pick us up. I don't know what the fuck happened. It was just so much tension. I don't know what the fuck what her problem was. To be honest, let's name her Tiana or something. Whatever. So I don't know what the fuck was wrong with Tiana. We didn't speak that morning. So I kind of knew. Me and her kind of had that, them days in the morning. Like, yo, listen, it's too early in the morning for your shit. Don't start. You know what I'm saying? I keep my distance. You keep your distance. We was just on that type of friendship. So... At the time, mind you, this is middle school. I'm 20 now. This happened like 2004 <laughs> or something. I think, was it? Uh, yeah, it had to be been. Like 2004, 2005. Around that time. But, um, yeah. Damn, what I left off at? She was the type to be around a lot of boys. I don't know. I don't know why, don't ask me. I don't know why the hell she was around boys so much. Maybe because she liked the boy attention or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, she used to be around a lot of boys. I used to be around, like, I used to be around a lot of, not a lot of boys, but I used to be around a lot of girls and boys. So, you know, it was kind of like a mixture. Because I had a lot of friends in middle school at the time. Um, so, yeah, I forgot who I was with. At the moment when this particular... Oh, it was my boy best friend. You know, like... Yeah, she was distant that morning. And I don't know what the fuck her problem was. I guess one of our other friends... I'm gonna keep her name anonymous. A little long. Anonymous too, so let's call her... Jayana or something. No, not Jayana. I don't know where the hell I got that from. Princess. Um, yeah. We had another best friend named Princess. She was, like, in between. Like, every time we get into, like, altercation, she was always in between of it. Like, she didn't know, like, she wanted to chill with me or she didn't know she wanted to chill with her. So, she was kind of, like, stuck in the middle. And it was that time where she was stuck in the middle again. So, she was with me at the time. And 
Well, I named her Tiana, I think. Tiana was um always with the boys. So, and Princess wasn't like the type to be around boys. So, yeah. We was all young at the time. I don't know. How old was... Anyway, that case. But, <laughs> um... So, yeah, Princess used to be around me a lot. And I was telling Princess, Princess was asking me, like, you know, what was up with me and um Tiana? And I was like, to be honest, I don't know what the hell is her deal. Like, she wasn't talking to me this morning, so I guess whatever. Whenever she chooses to, you know, talk to me, I guess I'll be here. I was that dumb and naive. That now, if you don't talk to me and you see me and you don't speak to me, anyway, <laughs> that's, that's my move now. Yeah, she was just asking me, like, you know, what was wrong and stuff like that. And I told her what happened. And, um, I don't know who the hell told her. I know it wasn't Princess. Princess couldn't have told her that. But I don't know what the hell, what was Tiana's problem. But Tiana, this is how we got into the first altercation. Tiana comes up to me with her boys, her group of boys. I don't know what the hell she's trying to prove. Like, I'm really supposed to be scared of her. Anyway, um, Tiana was, like, my height. But she was, like... Maybe, like, right here. So, we was at the same level. So, you know, because I'm really, 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 really short. But, anyway, um, <clears throat> she comes, I see Tiana coming with her group of boys. And she's coming right at me. She's looking dead at me. She's like, she's looking dead at me. And I'm like, yo, what the hell is this girl's problem? Like, what is it going to be today? So, she comes up to me and she's like, oh, I've been hearing that you've been talking about me. And I'm like... I looked at Princess. Princess was over here, and I looked at my best friend, my boy, my ex boy best friend, Julian. He was right on the side of me. And I'm looking at both of them. I'm like, who is she talking to? And she was like, I'm talking to you. And I'm like, who? Like, I'm like, girl, what? Who are you? Like, nobody was talking about you, girl. Like, what the fuck is you talking about? And then she stepped close. Oh my God. I should have known. I should have known what's, what was up with this girl's sleeve. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she was all up in my face. She was like, she was all up in my face. But when we was talking, we was like, there was a distance to us. And I was like, I'm like, who are you talking to? She stepped closer to me. She was like, I'm talking to you. I was hearing that you was talking about me. And I'm like, oh my God. I was like, please don't let me have to beat my best friend's ass on the last day of school. Number one. Never be alone. At least have two to three people with you. The reason why I say that is because how she approached me, she came with, I don't want to say an army because it was a couple of dudes. So she came with people. And God forbid, what if they like jumped me, even though they was dudes, but I'm pretty sure that wouldn't have even escalated to that point. But anyway, but yeah, she came with people. Being at the fact, if you know you're about to get into a fight, make sure you have people just for like, you know, the day one people that you fuck with. Like, you know you're going to get into some shit. You know them people's going to fucking jump the fuck in. You know what I'm saying? So I turned my head to my boy best friend, Julian, because he was standing on this side. I turned to him, and she pushed the shit out of me. Knowing me, the, the, the type of situation I was in at that moment in time, you know, if I'm feeling like, you know, you coming to me, you approaching me on that type of level, and you coming this close to me in my face... I really feel like you, you really finna, finna do something. So knowing me, I have my guard up at all times. But being at the fact I just turned my head, you know, bitches love as soon as you turn your head or you turn your back. You know, bitches love to want to swing as soon as when you do that moment, as soon as when you turn or do something. Like, I don't like that and shit. And she pushed the shit out of me. And I had to turn and look. I said, I looked at her. I looked at my best friend, my boy best friend, Julian. I'm looking like, I'm like, yo. Did she just touch me? Did she just touch me? My boy best friend said, yeah. Once he said that, his voice like echoed in my fucking head and I turned and looked at her. All I saw was her. Nobody else but her. Like, oh my God. Yo, I fucking charged at her like a fucking bull out of hell. Like, dead ass. Like, I'm very, like, I'm a really, like, soft person. So... Later on in the day, I kind of felt bad for being her ass because I gave her a cookie. Cookie meaning I gave her a black eye. And I think I gave her a busted lip, but it wasn't bad. It was like a little, um, it was like a little slit or like a little cut underneath her lip. When all of this happened, it was like, it, we was like transformation into the teachers coming to pick us up. So when this happened, I couldn't really get suspended, nor could she because it was a last day of school. Played it smart. Um, and it was a half a day. 
So we ain't really had to be around each other like, you know, all day long for something like this to happen again. Like if we was to fight again. Because you know how it is with schools. Like, you know, when you get to a fight, you get suspended. And then, yeah, your parent comes and gets you and whatever freaking make whatever case may be. Yeah, we kind of didn't speak throughout the whole day. I think that was over for our friendship, to be honest. Um, yeah. All right. So, done with that story time. <laughs> I'm over that. Um, the tips. Um, tip number two is be prepared. Always have, like, Vaseline or baby oil in your purse because you may never know. That day and time, you'll have a, a freaking um, a freaking altercation, or you might have a fight at the end of the day. You always have to make sure you turn on that notification bell so you be notified every time I post a video. And make sure you press that red button down below. Make sure you subscribe. So yeah, that's all for today. Peace. Big boy tools, Mako. Big boy made a bit down with the Draco. Walking with the G that queso. Just hunch up for the rodeo. Hunch up. Private jet, we don't do layover.